Hey everyone, this is Louisa Munson. You might know me as Mrs. M, and you're listening to the highlights of our ebook Should I Move to Portugal, which is celebrating the first five years of our family life in this amazing country. Yeah, five years here in Portugal, and this is the bit of the story where we move to San Martinho de Porto. Let's let's get on with it then. Today's reading. The chapter is called Away to the Bay. Okay, there you go. There you see the picture. If you're watching the video, away to the bay on coffee.com, ko-fi.com forward slash GMP. Away to the bay, then spooked by the threat of wildfire. What does a man, in this case, this man right here speaking to you now, in a new and different culture do to protect his family? Rightly or wrongly, my instinct screamed, get to the coast. Looking on Google Maps, I'm plotting our quickest route to the sea. And you can see that on this little map here. From It's pretty much uh, heading due west to the Atlantic Ocean. And then, in, well, you go past uh, Orang and you would go past, well, fairly close to Fatima and Alcabasa. As you get level with Alcabasa, you take a dip to the southwest and head towards San Martino de Porto, as you can see on that Google map extract there. Now, I'm plotting our quickest route to the sea, as I say there, and a strange scallop shape attracts my attention. This is an unusual feature um, inside the, uh, just inside, yeah, it, it, it beyond the, the, the worst dangers and perils of the Atlantic Ocean is this little scallop-shaped bay that I can see on the map. It strikes me that this little inlet may offer some protection from that other Elemental and equally terrifying and aforementioned threat, the Atlantic Ocean. The place that's caught my eye is San Martino de Porto, just under 100 kilometers and just over an hour from us, travel time, where a hastily booked Airbnb will be our new temporary home until we can relax and make sense of our heightened state of alert. Tomorrow and surrounds have been wonderful. You heard about that yesterday and the day before, I believe. There's no question about that. We have learned so much about Portuguese life there and will always be indebted to central Portugal for its warm and kind welcome. You could say, you know, the heart of Portugal, couldn't you? And that's where we cut our teeth, if you like, or certainly for the first first few weeks of being in Portugal, near Tamar, and we will remember those that those times very fondly. The house where we found 1,500 euros in the freezer, yes, and we did hand it in, is deep in the rearview mirror now as the road to the coast unfolds in front of us. It's a pleasant journey that passes Alcabasa, a place heartily recommended to me by an English associate, and a gem too that well, and a gem that too will become a family favourite. Alcabasa is amazing, and thank you, Laurie, if you ever hear this, for saying to me, Carl, you need to check out Alcabasa. And I did, and we had some amazing times there, including meeting a man who was, um, I think, was he King Pedro? And he would he would pose for selfies with tourists, um, and uh, we used to talk to each other a little bit in French as well. What a legend and character he was! Do you remember him? If you know Arcabasa, are we there yet? We wonder. As San Martino de Porto seems to be getting further away as we make this journey, we pass Nazaré. Take a left turn at Nazaré. I've just come back from there tonight, actually. Then Alfazaral. And can this really be the place I saw online? It seems to be going on in, in quite an indistinct and. Um, not unflattering, but it's just, you know, it's it's nice. It's it's just normal Portuguese towns that we're going through and villages, but not what I'm not what I imagined what I saw on the map. But then suddenly, OMG, oh my god, there it is. We turn into San Martino de Porto, where you can see the bay. This picture that you see in front of you, if you are watching the video, is a little bit later on in the day, but that was there in front of us. And it really it took it took our breath away to see this. We parked up the camper van on the T-junction. I could take you to the place where we parked up that day. And we were blown away after a quite a, a strange journey in a way where we thought we'd, you know, we'd see the sea from a long way away. And we didn't. We had to drive right up and into the bay to really see its beauty. You don't, you don't see it um, en passant, as it were. You know, you really have to go into the bay. And I think that's part of the charm and almost the secrecy of San Martino de Porto. So there, the picture legend says, stunned we are in a Yoda-esque kind of way as we chance upon this view 
now etched in our hearts. And you've got some, I, you'll know if you've seen my postings to Instagram, to Facebook, and everywhere else that I have so many pictures of this wonderful bay here. Thank you very much uh, for listening today. Really appreciate it. Be back tomorrow with another reading from Should I Move to Portugal? The celebration for us of five years living in Portugal. So we hope you're enjoying listening to our adventures. Don't forget that Good Morning Portugal is all about helping you to feel at home in Portugal. And if you'd like to know more about how we can help you on your journey, just go to www.portugal.com goodmorningportugal.com